If a sturdy ladder is not on your Christmas wish list, maybe it should be, especially if you're one of those who goes all out when it comes to holiday decorations. As Les Trent reports, experts say a ladder is one of the things that can keep you from becoming an accident statistic. It happens every holiday season. Homeowners getting seriously injured or even killed while decorating their houses. Mark Valentine was rushed to the hospital after falling off an 18 foot ladder while hanging a wreath above his garage. So you can actually see right here where I cracked my skull. He says he's lucky to be alive. I broke 10 ribs, my lung collapsed and the ladder also fell on top of me. Accidents like this don't have to keep happening, say the experts at Christmas Decor of New Jersey. We've seen all these videos online of people getting on ladders and the ladders falling over. What advice do you have to them? First of all, get a great ladder. <laughs> Before climbing up, make sure the ladder is sturdy and on stable ground. Always have a spotter. You can see that the ladder doesn't shift as much. And never climb on the roof or reach too far while standing on a ladder. This is where it's going to get hazardous, is if you were reaching out here to go another foot this way or another foot the other way, thinking that you need to get just one more bulb, that's where you're at risk for a fall or to tip the ladder. But decoration dangers are not just lurking outside your home. <laughs> Fire is a major concern. Holiday decorations are responsible for more than 790 fires a year. Nassau County, Long Island Fire Safety Chief John Murray says many of those fires are caused by overloaded extension cords and Christmas tree lights that have been improperly stored. How many people wrap these up like this and then they store them in the house for a year? Well, that's how the cracks happen and that's how the shorts come about. Just watch what happens during this demonstration when a simple spark ignites a fire. 